and welcome to Dubai Real Estate Philosophy. My name is Ahmed and in this video, we're going to discuss about why you should be buying Damak. Damak number one is it is one of the largest private development companies in not just Dubai, but in all of GCC, right? They have projects in Saudi Arabia, a lot of projects in Dubai and across the GCC, and they are the largest private developer in Dubai. Damak, as a lot of people know, uh, Hussein Sajwani is, as they call him, the Trump of the Gulf. He is a master plan community developer. Uh, they have developed a lot of communities and mashallah, he is a billionaire. That reputation, that success proves that how they are committed to delivering and all these things, right? Point number two, a lot of people say that because they are private, they have less accountability. They're not that financially stable, which it could not be further from the truth, right? Just last year in 2023, the Mac launched over 25 projects. That is almost two projects a month. See, when you have to understand when you announce a project in Dubai, you can't just announce it and not do anything. The government, the RERA, as we talked about in earlier videos, they have regulations and all these things. So they develop an escrow account and the developer has to deposit 20% of the entire project's amount to start that project. So having over 25 projects announced and then the Mac having to pay 20% of each project, it shows you that they are very, very financially stable. In fact, going back to the COVID era, one of the great things the Mac did did, and they were one of the few developers that kept on delivering projects that when they had, let's say five projects going on, and of course now COVID lockdowns were there and and same thing in 2008. So 2008, when the financial crisis did come, a lot of construction projects were halted. A lot of developers backed out. They said, we couldn't do anything. The Mac was one of the companies that came to the customers. You know, they were very real. They said, look, listen, this is the situation. Rather than we just uh, abandon all these projects, let's pool our money. Let's try to finish at least what we can finish. So at least some people can get the handover and the remaining amount we can refund later on. So they were one of the few companies, them being private, it allowed them to move things around, shake things around very quickly decision making so they still delivered in 2008 and not of course not all of the projects they were much much better than a lot of the other developers who pulled back they said we can't do anything so it was a very good reputation that the mac built that now a lot of people they have a bad perception of the mac a lot of people they say oh their sizes are terrible oh the community is too far look the mac hills one when it came out Again, I've said this before as well. It used to be pretty far away. It doesn't seem so far away now, right? We have the Al Ghaf around it. We have the Mac Lagoons around it. We have Studio City. So, of course, as the community grows, as Dubai keeps on growing, these communities will eventually come near, right? But then you also have to look at the price. The price is much more affordable than something that is much, much closer to Dubai. The price per square foot is much, much better. And the Mac is one of those companies that has anything available. Doesn't matter if you want a studio for 500,000 or you want a luxury mansion, but you know, with Lamborghini finishing all the way up to let's say 30, 35 million. They have a huge range. So that is very good for investors and also residents who want to buy the communities. Again, they have an entire range. You have apartments, you have villas. It really does cater to everyone. And when it comes to amenities, they do have one of the best amenity lists in Dubai. Their amenities in their communities it's a huge list. They have variety. I mean, if you can name an amenity, they usually put it in. In fact, when COVID was going on and there was a lot of lockdown, people were basically locked in their townhouses, villas, and the Mac actually built a wave pool inside the Mac Hills One. So they built a wave pool uh, just for the community so people can come out. Even though that was not there in the master plan, they just made it because, you know, they understood that, okay, people are locked up. A lot of people don't have access to swimming pools. Of course, kids need to get out here once in a while. So they built a wave pool. Again, you know, being a private developer, they can take these decisions. It's very very easy for them and they do deliver and specifically now when it comes to delays sizes all these things yes of course the Mac Hills 2 which is further away the sizes were much shorter but again it's all about the price right there's a market for everyone maybe that size is not good for you but someone else for them it's reasonable they understand that maybe they're just gonna short-term rent it out to each their own but having that option is what matters and the Mac gives you that option now people who say that they keep the link and whatnot but now what you need to know is that there is new management a lot of people they know Amira Sejuani is the daughter of Hussein Sejuani uh, Mr. Hussein Sejuani has stepped away now from that and Amira Sejuani is controlling everything so with her coming on she is also the founder of Pripco which we will inshallah make a video on coming in the future thing explaining what Pripco is Mr. Amira Sejuani she has come in she has a new brand she has a new identity she's trying to really move the company they have made a lot of their systems good a lot of their processes good you know they're really trying to work towards being a better company so 
These are some of the reasons why Damac is a great opportunity for investors who are looking for any ticket size of item and for people who want to live in communities. I mean, if you go now to Damac Hills one, as I'm saying, most of the community is already ready. You can go, you can check it out. And of course, Lagoons is coming up as well. Damac Lagoons, we'll make a future video on that project as well. Damac Lagoons was one of the first communities to introduce the Lagoon concept in Dubai and it is well under construction. It is going on. It is amazing. It will be handed soon. So this was just a quick overview about Damac. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach me on my whatsapp or comment down below and thank you so much for watching this video goodbye for now and you can conveniently reach out to me directly on my whatsapp by scanning the qr code at the top right corner